Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we've got another update video for you on the dry dock project. I think this is number six. This is our seventh week in dry dock and we didn't do one the first week. If you haven't been tuning in, every Wednesday at 7 Eastern we uh, put out a, an update on the work that's been going on this past week. There's a playlist down below if you'd like to see some of the previous updates and, and see how the ship has progressed over the last uh, month and a half. So, uh, probably the biggest update you guys uh, can see right now, we're on the starboard side of the ship. Originally, a lot of the work was focused on the port side. And now you can see that the starboard bow has all five coats of paint uh, applied, and uh, they're gonna start taking down where it's taped off today, and uh, work is progressing. Our paint contractors, the corrosion control specialists at CCSI, have been uh, really working their butts off on the starboard side of the ship. In fact, Monday night, there were two guys here applying paint until 8 p.m. to work on getting this area done. And applying a system of coatings to this ship is far more difficult than normal ships. One, because of the overlap of the riveted plates, they can't use like machines to just run over that. They have to pressure wash every inch of it. Two, because the hull is so heavily pitted because she's so old, they can't just go on spraying a system of coatings. They essentially have to spray from the top down and then spray again from the bottom up to fill in all the pits. Besides that, we're asking for a much thicker system of coatings than they normally do. So they're putting in way more work and effort on this ship. And you can see it's turning out really great, isn't it? There's still some pressure washing being done on the starboard side of midships here directly behind me. Uh, that's the last area of the original paint on the ship that they have to take off. But the forward third, the aft third, pretty much completely painted, and the starboard side is just about complete. Speaking of things that make the starboard side complete, more than half of the new aluminum anodes have been installed. Uh, all the ones on the starboard side and they've even started working on the port side now. Additionally, the application of the caulk on all the riveted seams is about 40% complete now. And they're coming up on the end of the port side. Also this week, we completed the boxes around the shafts. Uh, we've done a separate video on that. So, uh, you can check that out in the dry docking playlist down below. So the big new thing that's starting this week is uh, behind me, you can see we've removed a bunch of the keel blocks over the area that was uh, heavily corroded. We did a video about that last night or the night before as well. So check out that playlist uh, where we're putting doubler plates or stiffener plates on the bottom of the ship up forward. So that work has started. The steel plates were delivered yesterday. The keel blocks were pulled out yesterday. And they're starting to weld the new plates on today. Welding those new plates and finishing the system of coatings here on the starboard side is all that has to happen before the ship gets fleeted or bumped. So if I had to guess, and we don't have an exact date for this, but I'd say we're about two weeks away from uh, bumping the ship. Again, uh, we're gonna bump her four feet forward to expose the 10% of the underwater hull that is currently sitting on keel blocks. But stay tuned for future videos on that. Another project that happened uh, this week is we got around to air testing the port side bilge keel. This is one of the projects that uh, Ed Zikowski and the guys on Slater said that we absolutely had to do. And uh, we went up to Slater multiple times while she was in dry dock, learned a lot from them. And so we air tested our bilge keel on the port side and sure enough, it has uh, several wasted rivets and other leaks in it just because of uh, the water that was in there. Traditionally, it would have been filled with uh, balsa wood, might be balsa wood pulp, not solid balsa wood, uh, and pine pitch and tar. However, these bilge keels had serious damage, which had caused leaking and uh, rot of that wood, which water being absorbed by the wood and then being 
uh, held against the steel, just caused further rot. So in the 80s, the Navy repaired that damage and uh, basically float coated it. They, they put some cosmoline in there uh, through holes that they drilled in the top and then plugged, and then they had drain holes in the bottom to let it all out. However, that was just a Band-Aid designed to get the ship through the end of her service. It was not designed to get the ship to her 80th birthday, just her 50th birthday. So uh, one of the future projects you'll see us working on is repairs to those bilge keels. Remember, if you're interested in seeing any of this project in person, the ship will be in dry dock until about mid-June. We have uh, some dry dock tour tickets available on Friday nights and uh, in June. Otherwise, most of the rest of May is sold out already. There's a link in the description below where you can get tickets to come and take the tour of the uh, dry dock and see the work going on on the ship. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.